Alternator Man here. What I'm showing you is our 7130 Iceberg Alternator Upgrade Kit. Uh, this kit is for the GM CS130 type alternator. That's this alternator here. Used on a lot of GM vehicles. You can tell it does not have the fins across here. And this is what the Iceberg Alternator Kit is. It's an upgrade. Um, I had this housing patented. I was a co-patenter patenter on this housing many, many years ago. What the problem is, is uh, GM has a heat sink type bridge rectifier. In other words, this rectifier goes inside the housing and as this, as this bridge rectifier converts AC current to DC current, it dumps its heat using heat transfer compound between here into the housing. Then this heat has to go out of the housing, be dissipated away. Without the fins on the back, they had a lot of trouble with it. And what it would do is a rectifier would overheat. It would also dump the heat into this rear bearing, causing the bearing to fail. This alternator had a tremendous problem with bearing failure. There's still a lot of these alternators out here, out there. These alternators uh, were used up until the mid 90s, but there are a lot of hot rods and that type of vehicle have them, still have them on there, still have a lot of trouble with them. So we have this iceberg upgrade kit which gives you the rear housing with a, a special finned housing a heavy duty bridge rectifier the brush holder assembly the battery extensions the bearing front rear bearing a wider rear bearing the regular bearing on the 130 is a narrow bearing you've got your uh, little black plastic shield and this is the front bearing retainer the tolerance ring also I want to note that what we do different is when this rectifier gets bolted into the rear housing right here it has to transfer its heat from the rectifier into the rear housing through this flat plate right here. Most people use what they call a dielectric heat transfer compound. Dielectric means that it does not conduct electricity. Well, this base of this rectifier is the ground. And if you use a dielectric type heat transfer compound in here, you're virtually insulating this ground from the altair and from some of my other videos I've told you how important grounding is in an altair. What we provide, we provide a copper based heat transfer compound that you put on here and what that does is not only does it transfer heat out but it's also conductive. It allows this ground to be properly grounded to the rear housing and that's very important. This is a very very good product. It's our uh, uh, Iceberg, this is for the D1-7130 kit. Now we also have it in a 7140 kit, which is the 140 amp upgrade. And you virtually get everything the same as this here, but with the 140 amp kit, you also get the stator. You wouldn't get the, you wouldn't get the battery extensions because uh, the battery extensions are when you uh, put this kit in, you want to sometimes have to cut off the stator wire so you might have extended. When you go to the D1-7140 kit, you're going to get a new stator with it also, so you don't need the extensions. So the 7140 kit is virtually the same, same kit here except for the extensions. The 7130 kit has everything but the stator and then it does come with the extensions. So that's for the GM CS-130 alternator. Uh, look in our description below and I've got a link to both these products and we also sell this, the uh, whole complete CS-130 alternator with the finned housing. I'll put a link in the, in the description to that as well. So this is a very, very good product. I've had many, many people call or write and tell me over the years that they've used these on their Corvettes or whatever. Uh, where they've had CS-130s that would fail all the time and once they put the iceberg alt housing on it to, for the cooling they no longer had any failure problems.